Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, I want to do something a little bit different in this video. I have a really cool Salesforce consultant question in front of me. I'm going to read it out to you guys, then I'm going to answer it so you can get a bit of insight on my point of view uh, on this question. And then I'd love to hear from you guys, especially if you are a Salesforce consultant or, or an administrator. Um, I'd love to hear your answer to the question. So do make sure you drop that on the comments below. So with no further delays, let's uh, let's get to it. Um, so the question is, as a Salesforce consultant, what approach do you use for user training and adoption? And I, I love this question because I really enjoy training end users. It's, it's a great part of my job. And I, I get a lot of satisfaction from uh, showing someone how they can do their job better and easier. And so I think the main part of my approach is to focus on active involvement from from the start. So obviously, I can't include all of the end users uh, in the project because that would be crazy. But we have champions or super users, if you'd like to call them, that I like to get them involved into the project. And usually what I do is I, I break it up. Uh, the, the demo into smaller parts so it's easier for them to digest. So sometimes it works well if you do it like at the end of each sprint. Um, and so you can show them uh, smaller parts of the system and how that works. And then at the end of the project, there's always a, a training, a dedicated training session, maybe a one hour or a two hour long or multiple training sessions, depending on the, the, the scale and the capacity of the, the project itself. But there's always a training session where we then would train and demonstrate the entire system end to end. But I feel like if you just do it on that session, it's a lot of information to digest. And after a while, you can tell that people lose focus and then they just don't care anymore and then they just stop listening. So I find that if you break that up into smaller sections in different days, it's much easier. And then at the end, when you do this full end to end training session, they're already familiar with many parts of the system. So then they can keep their focus going for a little bit longer. That's definitely one side of it. The other side of it is obviously making the most out of Trailhead. So Trailhead is an amazing gamified way of learning Salesforce. And I always send them to Trailhead to learn the fundamentals and to keep up with updates and just to sharpen their skills, really. Um, obviously, it goes without saying that when I deliver a project, uh, I like to be able to continue giving support to my clients and so that they always have a, a point of contact um, if they do need help with something uh, that's a little bit more detailed. But overall, that's how I like to do it. It's broken down parts uh, uh, for training and demonstrations of the system, then a full end-to-end -end training session with the right people on, on the right call, and then the trailhead side of things that they can then sharpen their skills on the theory uh, bit of Salesforce. And obviously expand their knowledge as well, because a lot of people start just knowing what they need to know, and then they develop that passion. And then next thing you know, they, they want to know everything Salesforce, right? Sounds familiar? I, it happened to me too. So if you're a consultant or if you're an admin or if you just like Salesforce and you're in the industry, I'd love to know how you would answer this question. So make sure you share it with me down below. Thanks and until next time.